In what's believed to be one of the largest data breaches in banking history, Capital One Financial says personal information, including names and addresses of about 100 million people in the U.S. and 6 million in Canada, were obtained by a hacker who's now been arrested. About 1 million social insurance numbers of the company's Canadian credit card customers also compromised. Prosecutors say the motive is unclear. The suspect, a 33-year-old former Seattle technology company software engineer, has been identified as Paige Thompson. She reportedly boasted about the hack on a coding platform called GitHub. Another user saw the post and notified Capital One of the breach. Capital One says the hacker was able to exploit a configuration vulnerability in the company's infrastructure. It was not a sophisticated breach. Ann Kavuki and the executive director of Global Privacy and Security by Design and Ontario's former Information and Privacy Commissioner says it's absurd that the company's firewall was not strongly protected. You would think that cloud computing company would use the strongest security measures possible. They didn't. And that's the problem these days is that security is not given the proper resources in terms of the type of protections that are needed. Capital One, which says it identified the hack July 19th, is the latest American company to suffer a major data breach. Two years ago, Equifax was targeted in a hack that exposed sensitive information of about half the U.S. population. Last week, the company agreed to pay at least $700 million to settle lawsuits. This will cost uh, Cap One a considerable amount, not only in terms of potentially lost business, but also the class action lawsuits that are going to arise from this. If you look at the kind of millions that Equifax has had to put out, this will be at least equal that, if, that, if not greater. Kavukian recommends Capital One customers review their account information and importantly, continue to do so. As for legal action, a Quebec law firm already filing a class action lawsuit against Capital One. And as for the suspect, she is due back in court tomorrow.